Performing unknown surveillance or non-targeted screening to find relevant compounds, contaminants, or residues in your unknown samples can be a huge challenge, especially since samples contain thousands of chemical features and characteristics that must be analyzed and sorted through to find any unknown or unique compounds that are of interest. Masterview software offers a great workflow to help to find unknown contaminants in your samples of interest. In this example, we are analyzing for suspicious compounds or residues in a tomato sample. We first began by launching Masterview within the PeakView software, then opened our unknown Roma tomato sample and an organic tomato control sample. When performing a non-targeted analysis, comparing our unknown sample to a control sample allows us to quickly survey and remove any chemical compounds that are identical between the two samples to allow us to more efficiently highlight features that are different. This comparison allows us to only focus on the suspicious peaks in the sample and ignore the normal chemical characteristics of the tomato, such as sugars, nutrients, or other healthy chemicals present in tomatoes. Here we will set our control sample as the organic tomato sample. Since we are performing non-targeted analysis, you can see that our XIC list is blank. In this case, we will tell the software to extract all ion chromatograms detected in the sample above a set threshold to identify any and all peaks that were detected in our unknown sample. View our previous video in this series to learn about setting up the processing parameters for this type of analysis. We then click the Process button to start processing our data. During the processing, the software is going through both data files to find all chromatographic features and compares the peaks between the two samples. The software will also automatically propose a suggested molecular formula for any peak that is detected using the formula parameters we entered in our data processing settings. Once the data processing is completed, we are able to investigate each suggested formula with a direct link into ChemSpider to investigate and assign an appropriate chemical structure to any unknown peaks that are detected. If we've selected MSMS libraries to use for library searching comparison, the software will also compare the acquired MSMS spectra for the unknown sample to all MSMS library spectra. After data processing is completed, we can see at the bottom that the software identified 715 chromatographic features in our unknown sample. By performing the comparison to our control sample, this number is reduced to 35 chromatographic features, which are present in our unknown sample at a higher level than in our control sample. This allows us to remove the healthy or normal peaks and just focus on those that are different and unique to our unknown sample. We can filter the table by selecting the filter box at the right side of the table, and the table is then reduced to only display the 35 peaks that meet our filter criteria, which we've set in the bottom left of the screen and are described in our previous Master View video in more detail. We can review the results for each peak by clicking on the peak in the table. The top panel will update to display this peak in our unknown sample on the top left and in our control sample on the top right. We can also review the MS and MSMS spectra for these peaks by selecting the Show MS and MSMS icon. In this view, the unknown sample is shown as the top two spectra and the control as the bottom two. You can see that nothing is displayed in the control sample since this chromatographic peak was only identified in our unknown sample. To review the details of the automatic formula finder for the extracted peaks, we select the Show XIC Details button. The library search results for this peak display on the left-hand side, and the formula finder results for this peak display on the right-hand side. Here you can see that the library search results identified this peak as mycobutanil, and the formula finder results identified a few potential possible formulas, including C15, H17, N4CL. Note that if we did not set up the analysis to search a compound library, then only the list of suggested formulas would display here. If we click on the formula, a ChemSpider search session will open automatically. The list of potential structures for that molecular formula will be listed in order of number of references, publications, and commercial use of the chemical, where the most highly referenced will be displayed at the top of the list. 
The software will then display the chemical structure and calculate the theoretical MSMS fragmentation pattern for that structure and compare it to the acquired MSMS spectrum we collected in our analysis. All fragments that can be explained by the identified structure are shown in blue, and those that are not explained by the structure are shown in red. From this analysis, we can see that 94% of the MSMS fragments that we acquired in our analysis can be explained by the structure for microbutanil. We can also click on any fragment mass and it will highlight which part of the molecule gives rise to this fragment. The use of MSMS fragmentation patterns with comparison to either MSMS compound libraries or the structures identified in ChemSpider gives high confidence in assigning identities to detected peaks when performing a non-targeted screening analysis. To learn more about MasterView software and to view other video demos, go to www.abscix.com slash masterview.